Hello everybody, I'm the Farm Sim Guy, and today we're going to look at eight different ways that you can play Farming Simulator 19. Now this uh, video is aimed primarily at new players, but there might be some ideas in here for seasoned professionals, or things that you've maybe not tried before if you've been into the game for a while. I'll also say this now, this isn't an exhaustive list either, so if you play a certain way or with certain rules, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Now of course, when you get the game out of the box, you get three different ways to start a new game every time. You've got New Farmer, Farm Manager and Start from Scratch. But over and above that, there are loads of different ways that you can play this game. Uh, and basically, at the end of the day, your imagination can run wild and you can do whatever you like. But I'm going to give you a few here today to get you started and uh, we can take it from there. <laughs> So the first one we're going to look at is, is role-playing. Now this is where you create a scenario or characters to add to the gameplay. This can be a really immersive and enjoyable way to play and makes for interesting content to view as well. I've tried this with my Dear Country Contract series and of course we've all been familiar with Dagoin's survival role-play that's now in its third series which has a very loyal following. <laughs> Survival. Now this has become an incredibly popular way to play the game recently, driven really by No Man's Land map, which provided a great platform to build a story from. Uh, from my perspective, running my survival series on Bull's Gap, there are a whole world of opportunities and potential ways of playing survival. You set your own rules and goals and you can take it from there. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about it is, is the challenge of finding equipment that's incredibly cheap or wouldn't be the sort of thing you would usually play with. So um, that adds another level of enjoyment to it for me. challenge gameplay is very similar to survival in some respects is that you set yourself a starting scenario and you take it from there i started out very early on my channel with a no debt challenge series on new park farm and i started out with five hundred thousand dollars and the only rules i had were you had to buy a farm with that money uh, not just fields um, you couldn't lease equipment and it was on nine day seasons now if i dipped into debt the challenge was over but um, that's not to say you couldn't create your own set of rules and play it the way that you want it. Change the amount of money, change if you want to play with seasons or without seasons, um, whatever rules you want to play with. Now, fast farming has been made popular by DJ Goham, among others, and is a completely different way of playing the game. Now, you can do this by using the method that DJ showed us in his video previously, and I've put a link to that in the top corner just now. Or alternatively, it requires some knowledge of XML to be able to mod your equipment, but you're basically adjusting the volume of your crops your vehicle can take or upping the speed to get as much done in the shortest time possible it can be an incredibly enjoyable way to play the game and you do get through a lot of stuff very very quickly and if you've never done it before why not give it a go Multiplayer games open up a whole new community element to FS19 with the common goal of working together towards an end goal. You can do this by setting up your own server through a range of different server providers. Or if you're on console, you can set up your own multiplayer game and invite people in that way. And if you get really adventurous, you might want to check out the Farm Sim Network. This is a huge network of multiplayer servers with real world, world economies that are run from their website. And it's probably the closest you'll get to real life farming within FS19. So if you play with friends, or even if you don't play with friends, but you're part of a good Discord community, uh, why not set yourself up a multiplayer server and uh, take it from there? Now, production maps are something I've covered recently on the channel, and that's maps that include factories and production that adds a whole different range of options to the game. Now, some of these work in unison with farm outputs, for example, meat on West Texas or the potato factory that's on Yukon River Valley, or, or something separate where you can download your own mod and uh, install it into your own game, for example, creating your own fuel from canola or sunflowers. And then you've got maps like Yukon River Valley where you've got limestone and dirt mining, um, 
it adds a whole another level of immersion to the game and the potential is huge to diversify your gameplay within that so uh, really really interesting it's also worth checking out uh, pleasant valley by dajnet over at pvmods.com for loads more production related information logging it's a bit like marmite if you really have a desire to take on the challenge there's some seriously good logging maps to get your teeth into from dark forest Wilhelmina, and holmacra to grizzly mountain yukon river valley just to name but a few it's also worth checking out um, the guys at fdr logging who make their living on fs19 playing logging scenarios or the very excellent holmacra series from argsy gaming um honestly it takes uh, minutes to get hooked on logging and years to master it i i was one of those people it's like no can't do logging but uh, after getting stuck into it a little bit more and playing a little bit more often with it uh, i really really enjoy it now definitely some challenges uh, but there's some great mods out there some fantastic logging equipment out there so definitely worth checking it out <laughs> Now, automation is another interesting way of playing, and again, it's becoming more and more popular. Automation is basically utilizing tools such as AutoDrive and CoursePlay to run tasks for you. Uh, now, again, there's a section of the community that thinks this defeats the purpose of the game as you're not actually driving any of the machinery. But trust me, when I say the satisfaction of running multiple combines that offload to auger wagons into trucks, which haul it to sell points or grain bins, is well, well worth it. And like I've said before, nobody should be telling you how you play the game. So go and give this a go if you want to. It's like solving a massive logic puzzle, and, and it's incredibly rewarding when it all works. So there you go. There's a, a very quick high-level overview of eight different ways that you could try playing Farming Simulator 19. Now, you want to add to this the wealth of mods and maps that we're so lucky to have available to us. Uh, the possibilities are, are endless. How about an old machinery game? Um, John Deere only. Case only, animal only farms, big farms, small farms, uh, European maps, American maps, starting with nothing, starting with 10 million pounds. Honestly, the farm sim world is your oyster. The only limit is going to be your imagination at the end of the day. So all I'll say is um, get out there and have some fun. Uh, I'm the farm sim guy. As always, thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.